to Wholesome Roots. Today we are going to make something that we have been making for years. Odin's really happy about it. Uh, we have a surplus of tomatoes. So we are going to make one of our favorite dishes of all time, tomato pie. So you're going to start with six tomatoes approximately. If you have giant ones like this, you'll probably only need like four. If you have smaller ones, then six is better. So enough to fill a pie dish. Whatever size pie dish you're using, whether you're using a shallow pie dish or a deep dish, you, you be the judge. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice them into quarter inch slices the long, along the stem line. So the first step I do is I cut off any bad spots. I had a bad spot right here. And I cut the stem out. And then I'm going to slice them a quarter inch and I'm going to put them on a paper towel lined cookie sheet. Salt the tomatoes that you've sliced up. Let them, let them drain their juices away just a little bit. Once I have them drained away, I'm going to move on to the next step. So while these are draining, I'm going to mix my filling. So my filling is very simple. It's basically two ingredients, mayonnaise and cheese. Homemade mayonnaise from fresh farm eggs is the best way to make this recipe. But if you don't have those, then regular eggs work fine. Also, you can use any kind of cheese you want. We have cheddar, shredded cheddar cheese, so that's what we're using. We're gonna do about two cups of cheese to about a cup of mayo and then salt pepper garlic powder if you want maybe a little cayenne if you like it spicy maybe a dash of hot sauce um really you can you can you can add in other flavors a lot of tomato pie recipes that i see these days add in a lot of other flavors like onions and garlic and basil and 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 like like peppers and Mm, mm -mm. No, I like my tomato pie to have the tomato be the star of the show. So I want all of the tomato flavors to be the profile that I'm going for. Okay, so I have two different kinds of cheeses here and I'm just gonna mix them up. I have two cups of cheese. Really, you can use whatever kind you like. This white cheese is a really nice melting Swiss. It's not a strong flavored Swiss. It almost actually tastes like mozzarella. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this and set it aside to use as my topping when I finish it off. And then to this, I'm gonna add my mayonnaise. Now I'm using homemade mayonnaise. I make this stuff all the time. We've been making this for 10 years and we love it. Um, using about a cup of mayonnaise. It's your binding agent. So the eggs in this are gonna help hold it together. So it is important that you do use an egg-based mayonnaise. Go ahead and stir that up and see if it's enough. You want it to be able to hold together. So I think I need a little bit more mayonnaise. Before I add that, I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt, because I already have salt in the tomatoes. And just a touch of garlic powder. Most recipes, I love to add a lot of garlic, but this recipe, I really like to keep as simple as possible. I find it's much better. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna add some more mayonnaise. So I like to use a lot of mayonnaise because I really feel like that's the secret to the best tomato pie is a lot of good mayonnaise. I don't want it to be dripping wet, but I also don't want it to be too cheesy. Does that make sense? I don't know. I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more mayonnaise and that should be about right. You want it to be where I can spread it out in layers. While you're getting your ingredients together for the filling, go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 because you're gonna wanna brown your pie crust just a little bit first, about eight minutes in the oven. Make sure you prick holes in it so it doesn't bubble up on you. Homemade pie crust would be the best. We're using store-bought. And deep dish I find is nicer, but we did not get deep dish this time. So we're gonna just make two of them and they'll be a little more shallow. All right, so that's 
a nice consistency now and we are ready to start our layers we're going to start with a layer of sliced tomatoes and then we're going to do a layer of the cheese mixture and switch back and forth and finishing with a topping of cheese at the end so be generous with your tomatoes you see how i have some pieces that are smaller cuts to fill in any open holes and then i'm going to add a layer of my cheese mix you really want to make sure you fill in and spread it out so that every tomato piece is kissing some cheese and mayonnaise yes nice then you're going to add another layer of tomato with a deep dish you can probably do three or four layers but with these shallow pie dishes i'm just going to stick with two layers all right last layer I had a few slices left over but those are just going to be a great tomato sandwich put the last of the toppings spread it out even Ooh, that looks good so now i'm just going to sprinkle some cheese right on top and if you wanted to add a little bit of color, you could do a little bit of chopped basil, I guess. I just really like the classic tomato pie flavors to be the highlight of this dish. So I do that, put it in the oven on 350, like I said earlier, and from anywhere from like 35 to 45 minutes, you want to be checking on it. But it could take as long as 55 minutes depending on your oven. All right, I went ahead and put both of those pies on a large cookie sheet so that they wouldn't drip in my oven just in case they spill over the edge because those were a little bit more shallow than I'm used to. And I set my time up for 35 minutes and I'm going to check it. And I can't wait to show you guys the finished results. All right, 35 minutes and they are bubbly, but I'm going to let the cheese brown a little bit around the top edges so you want to see that bubbly around the edges that's perfect basically it's done i just am going to brown it a little bit in the center so i'm going to put it back in for about five more minutes now that's a perfect tomato pie oh this dinner is going to be so amazing now you can have this as your dinner it's got the protein, everything you need, or you can have it as a side dish, whatever you prefer. So once you let it cool just a little bit, slice into that bad boy. <laughs> I'm salivating right now. Oh, this is gonna be so good. It has been a while since we've made this. Oh yeah. Perfect slice of heaven right there.